Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. And this time we're flying an SSTO. But this SSTO... This particular SSTO is special. Why is it special? Because instead of just one hull, or fuselage, it's got three. Now yes, I'm sure a lot of people have done this already before. Shut up. I just like it because it looks really cool. It's got that wing body design. Actually, it reminisces. Remin what? It's reminiscent of SSTOs that I used to build way back in the day. It'd be like a biplane design, but it's not really a biplane design because there's stuff inside the wings. So I just pretended it was like a big giant wing with stuff inside the. I don't know. Regardless, it looks cool as shit. But I didn't. I didn't want just you know. I, I didn't want a big SSTO just to fly something small. I wanted wanted to carry some cargo. So you know, two 36 ton fuel tanks. And it's pretty decent. Now, yes, I've built monsters that can fly 300 tons into orbit, but there's just something about keeping it small, simple that I like. Now, of course, for the video, carrying two 36-ton fuel tanks into orbit for no apparent reason at all would be kind of awkward. So I said, well, well, let's make it that it's like building a space station. So I took a minute and threw a space station together real quick. No, I didn't get it up there via rockets. That would have took forever, and I simply don't have that kind of time. Would be nice if I did, though. But it was a cool-looking space station and it worked out pretty well so yeah name wise i figured v-wing would be pretty cool but then again i don't know if that really captures what this thing is so i just i just gave it the name of crane you know how the myth mythology goes about crane carrying precious cargo i figured maybe i'd make a flag of a silhouette of a crane carrying a package in its mouth for this particular ssto we'll see now for the rapier engines in order to help with drag i kind of did this i grabbed the small nose cone and then and then and come on, you little shit, get in there. Fucker. Okay, and then I just grab the move tool and then hold down shift and just barrage it in just a little bit. That way I get the little spike thing going, kind of cool. And it helps with uh, drag. Now I could have took the aerodynamic nose cone and did this. Pop. Like I normally do. This is what I normally do. Like this. Shh, gotta put it in there. Just like that so you can't barely see it. Now I have done a lot of tests with this kind of thing. When it comes to killing drag. And even though I did get slightly better numbers when it came to the aerodynamic nose cone. For this particular build. I thought it looked really cool with the little spikes sticking out like that. So that's the theme that I went with. Now I have made a how to build SSTO video a long while ago. I plan on revamping it. Because there are some things that could be better explained. But anyway. All the time I have for today. Thank you so much. So much for watching and if you really like this video please 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 leave a like for me to help with the youtube al 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 shit to help with the youtube algorithm and if you really 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 liked what you saw consider subscribing i upload often mostly weekends we also have a membership if you're interested you can get little cool emojis and stuff and badges and whatnot pretty cool check it out but anyway i want to thank you all for coming and watching this video this kerbal space program video love you all take care and i'll see you in the next video Bye for now. Bye-bye.